everyone. My name is Kevin. I'm uh, with Backcon Service Department. Uh, today we are going to be uh, rebuilding a water pump head off a GP-13. Um, the water pump was not winterized and it froze and cracked the cages on the valves. So we're going to be begin to rebuild that uh, water, this water head. And we're using a 5 16th hex head to pull the uh, top plates off here. Then we're going to pull the uh, top plates off and you'll notice uh, there's an o-ring here you can see this one has a uh, split um, which we we do have in the kit uh, some no new o-rings to replace those and then you'll notice there's a spring that uh, is right under the plate and then in this instance like i said this pump cracked and the cage has uh, I'm sorry, frozen, and the cage has cracked. Um, you can see when you get the new ones, it will be similar to this. This is our um, suction valves, lower valve. Then we have our larger valves, which are our uh, discharge valves. So then you're going to have another spring that's uh, actually inside the cage, like this would be inside the cage here. So in this case, we're going to have to take out the tappet, which is also inside of your valve assembly, inside here, your tappet, that uh, opens and closes. So in this case, uh, to pull the valve seat out, um, we're going to use this uh, slide ham hammer puller and I have a variety of just homemade uh, pullers here that we could use and I am going to use this bigger one here to pop that um, valve seat out. It's just o-ring seated in there so it shouldn't be too terrible to get out. There we go. We have that valve seat out. And you can see also there's O-rings on there. Which we're going to go ahead and replace the whole valve seat and everything with new O-rings. That is our discharge. Our top valves. So to pull our lower valves. These are our lower valves, our suction valves. Um, we're going to use, again use this uh, puller here, and we're going to these are inserted right now into the pump. We're going to put this down in into there and thread this all the way in because they are plastic threads. So we want to try not to strip those plastic threads out. then we're going to just pop that valve out like that. We're also going to replace the, while we're doing it, we're going to replace all of them. So after pulling, we just want to uh, inspect for any debris that uh, is in here. For instance, this piece of cage is stuck in here that when it froze, it, it broke. So we just want to make sure there's no more pieces of debris in here.
take our new lower seat, again our suction, we're going to thread this all the way in. And I'm going to thread it all the way in until it goes down and sits, the tip of my thread sit on the tappet so I can uh, hammer it back in there gently and reseat that, that bow. That's all it takes to reseat the valves. It's seated. You could, I don't know if you can hear it with the camera, but there's kind of a sound change once it's totally seated. Again, we're working on a GP5132 giant pump. Then as for the top uh, valves, same thing. We're going to thread this all the way in. This is our top valves here. We're going to thread this all the way in until it seats down on top of that uh, tappet so that we won't strip those threads out when we tap it in. Then with the kit, you'll also get some new springs. That is going to replace our old springs. And that goes right on top there. We're going to take our new O-rings for the top plates. And we're, there's already a little grease on here, but we're going to apply some grease onto the O-ring. And then we just put our uh, cap, top cap, back on. Kind of got to push down on that spring. Just make sure we uh, don't cross that, these hex nuts. Then we are going to slightly run these down, very gently, doing a cross pattern. Then we're going to get our uh, torque wrench, and these get torqued to 35 foot-pounds with our torque wrench. go. So pretty simple. Um, changing out the valves in this pump. Um, you would repeat the same same thing for the other two sets um, for replacing them.
Um, if you got any questions, um, give us a give your dealer a call or call us at the uh, service center, customer service center, at, uh, and we can give you help if you need a hand. But these are pretty simple.